Come and get started on a new mission, mission. a new direction, direction, a new intention. intention. Welcome to 5.8G Alive at Connections 50 Plus. I am Terry Ann Joseph Brathwaite. And I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph, catering to all your prospects in the third act of life. Economic well-being, well-being. social gratification, gratification. personal fulfillment. fulfillment. Join us on Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Connections 50 Plus Facebook page, YouTube channel, and on Gael the Caribbean. Good evening, 5.8 G Alive. It is Wednesday, 6th of April. It is 6 p.m. in the afternoon. You're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, or you're viewing Gael. So we're all in the right time and place. Welcome. <laughs> I am Perry and Joseph Brathwaite, one of the co-creators of Connections 50 Plus. And with me as usual. I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph, the other co-creator of Connections 50 Plus. Good evening and welcome. Hi, hi. And Jennifer is the newly, newest minted, 70-year-old looking fantastic and gorgeous. And I am. <laughs> Jennifer, we reflect on each other again today. We have in shades of pink. <laughs> yes, that says something. <laughs> Vibrancy and life celebrating, yes. you know. Listen, viewers, listen, viewers. You all know we've been, well, we're not waxing up and we're not warming up to anything. We're in the heat of this <laughs> living. We yes, yes. With vision born. Mm-hmm. We did all kinds of things. We said we're moving on. Oh, and we moved on in, in February. And throughout the month of March, we've been reflecting. We've been looking back mm-hmm. because, excuse me, the 7th of April is an important day. We had an important day last this weekend past, and we're going to talk yes. about it. But the 6th of April is today, and tomorrow is April 7th. And we know what happened on April 7th. <laughs> Connections. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. 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 So, so it is only natural that the next theme for us is Sally. Greetings. Yes. Listen, but let's unpack it piece by piece and time by time. The first big celebration was Jennifer. <laughs> and Je- you all enjoyed baby. the surprise last week. You all enjoyed the surprise. <laughs> Jennifer, were you surprised last week by your happy birthday greeting? I definitely was surprised. Definitely was surprised. But does he say English? pleasantly surprised actually pleasantly too soft for wood you know but really really that was great thank you so much ah and then we had a we well we talked about the celebration last week and jennifer there's a special little lady who would be would it be celebrating yes my granddaughter today's her birthday happy birthday Happy birthday. Six, uh, six today. Listen, yeah. just now you'll be saying she'll be 26. So, <laughs> and you will be celebrating your 90th birthday. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we'll be right here doing it. So, everybody stay tuned. Yeah. We have 20 years to go. <laughs> <laughs> but coming yes. back to our milestone and, and, Geez, this this is so great that we are going to be three years old tomorrow. And Mm -hmm. this warrants all the celebrations for this month. So, Jen, how do you feel about that? I feel great. I really feel great. I love celebrating. You know that. I love celebrating occasions and milestones. And for me, this is big because Terrian. This is like, yeah, this time of my life to be still giving back, to still say, hey, I have a career, you, you know, I'm working, <laughs> I'm enjoying and loving what I do, you know, so many things to celebrate, to celebrate life, you know, celebrating life. So I, I feel great about it. Yeah. And celebrating connections. But oh, we, yes, we are going to be today's show 
is going to launch that theme in a big, big, big way because yeah. life means so many different things to all of us. And we, you know, we've been talking over the past couple of days and so on and reflecting on, on friends, family, people in community and so on. Yeah. And the two things we realize, and I may be a bit controversial here, some people know how to celebrate well, and some people have difficulty celebrating. And you never know why, you never know for what reason. Why would one person know how to celebrate well in spite of whatever life presents in the moment? Mm -hmm. and why would another person not know how to celebrate well in spite of what life presents in the moment? Yeah. And taking the issue of money out of it. Because money just determines the scale and, and the where and the what, but it cannot define whether you yeah. celebrate or not. <laughs> All right? So in today's show, we're going to be looking at two really, three really different aspects of celebrating. And we hope yeah. that by the end of this month, we, when of course the celebration is going to culminate on May the the fifth in Paramen. <laughs> okay. But um, we hope by the end of this period, while you celebrate with us, we have all of us in the camp firmly looking at celebrating. So we're going to be in tune with life and we will be talking about the first celebration. <laughs> <laughs> April celebration, connections, and my birthday. I'm a Sitarian. Being sempty, you know, it's going to be so good. It's, when you, let me start by saying, I remember as a young person when my mom and a friend was sempty. I said, oh God, sempty? <laughs> but when for me reaching sempty didn't make a difference. It, it did not make a difference in terms of how I feel. I was excited to reach this stage in life. Now I'm known to celebrate. I really like celebrating, not just my milestones and my achievements, but friends, family, everybody. Celebration for me is a time for people to be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, to be happy. And Happiness is not just for you saying that, okay, you're waiting until something big. You know, some people say only celebrate when they achieve a goal and that goal has to be a big goal. But I have learned from early to celebrate small wins, celebrate life, you know? And going into that, getting into this stage of something, you know, connections, we talk about the different stages of life and we talk about the 50 plus, the 60 plus, the 70, you know, just the, the, these different stages. Moving into this stage, yeah, it's a great celebration, but I didn't wait to get into this stage to celebrate, all right? And I wanna start by, by saying how you live your life from, from the beginning, how you, how you approach life makes a difference. You know, you mentioned um, before we got into this segment, Terry Ann, about the different ways people, I think, make, make themselves happy. Some people don't celebrate at all. Some people choose don't not celebrate. to celebrate, they can't celebrate. Yeah. And for sharing how is how I see life, is how others see their life and see life as a whole. It may be a bit about um, how you grew up and your environment, but that's no reason at all that someone you can't change your mindset to be happy. I, I would start by saying I have four main areas that I have always focused on. And that brings me always in this sort of celebratory mood. And that is, I start with, um, I start with faith. I think when we all have that faith and faith knowing that it's because uh, God has us here, the Almighty Father has us here. And if we keep 
talking to him, we keep praying and really saying what we want, what we like to do, how we want our legacy to be. It, 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 make a, it makes a difference to me. And I feel that faith, you know, that this is how you want your life to plan out. So obviously you're going to do things and you ask for the guidance and the blessings to achieve it. So I say faith, we, if, if we all, and, and, and I'm not, you may belong to different religions, whatever, it doesn't matter. You have faith. If you have faith in God, you should have faith in your life, how you want your life to be. And even if it don't go as planned, you have faith that it will, you keep going and you celebrate any small wins. So that keeps pushing you forward. So that is the start of, of celebrating life for me. Then I, I legacy is important. And legacy for me is how I want, again, it, it, it all ties in, eh? how I want to live my life and how I would like others connected to me to enjoy life. Now, I may not know how they want to live their life, but what I want to be is a part of it to make them, to help them achieve whatever they want mm. in their life, right? So with legacy, I am living the life I want to live. So I start by saying, what kind of life you want to live? And I want to be happy and I want to be healthy and I want to be prosperous and, and prosperous and prosperity for me, I mean, after being a millionaire. But I want to be comfortable. I want to be financially comfortable. I want to, to go and achieve things, you know, and just live life. Again, it's coming back to celebrating because life, I have life is to live and to celebrate and to appreciate others. So that is my, my legacy is not leaving money for children, that type of legacy, mm -hmm. but a legacy where I am helping persons bring joy. Let me, let me just say, bring joy to the life of others because I want to be joyful and I feel if I want to be like that, I want the others around me to be like that, mm. okay? Mm. And, you know, for those who listening may say, okay, Jennifer's talking, but they have so much things, challenges. Hey, it have the challenges, but when your mind is on, you may have a challenge, but you know the end result will be a positive one that will keep you going. Mm. Um, the other thing I would say after the faith, and the legacy is, is health and, and self-care. Because to do all that, you have to be healthy and what do we have to do to stay healthy? And for me, I enjoy taking walks and walking with friends. So, so everything tying again, because walking, talking, chatting, um, being out there keeps me healthy. Mm -hmm. The way I eat, you know, I'm not that fanatic, but I know certain things I have to leave alone to maintain my health. And so what I eat, exercise, and all that is happy because happy walking, I'm not too happy with some of the things I eat because, you know, I have to leave out certain um, things, but I am happy then. So self-care, again, taking care of me, part of my self-care, I would, I tie in, let me tell you, socializing with self-care, Terria. Because, because I want to socialize and taking care of myself because I want to go out and, and enjoy and dress up and have fun again with friends. So you, you see how everything's sort of tying in, in terms of me celebrating life. And as I talk about friends, I would say the fourth one, and I'm just talking about the main, the key, the key aspects that, that have me celebrate in life, friends and, and family. Listen, well, of course, to share and to socialize, I need friends <laughs> and family. Mm -hmm. So I, I am very, very, that is so important for me. So I, I build relationships. And by building relationships, I... I don't focus on the negative. All of us have faults, including me. We all have faults, right? So 
I don't focus on the faults of someone, but try to pull from them all the positives. So to do that is a matter of, of complimenting them, helping them in different ways, etc. So friends and, and family, very, very key. So those I say would be the four main key points, key aspects of my life. So when you when you say, let me say rolling into these empties. <laughs> so I'm not really rolling in. I'm jumping. I'm I'm happy. I'm celebrating. I, I, I feel good. I am so thankful for for being here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, so the faith, the health, <clears throat> the, the the friendship, you know, um these are the things that I would say, let's celebrate. And to top it off, of course, being, I mean, in connections, having Terry and if you want more, I mean, everything rolled into one. <laughs> so the same thing with my life is the same thing with the connections. We are doing the same thing, Terry and. Yeah. We have faith, you know, and we're being guided. Yeah. yeah. And Jennifer, as a, as a specific example now, you've turned 70. What was your approach to celebrating that? milestone because people Gosh. can say all right i've been doing all these things but still they they just don't say but how do you recognize because i really do think celebration yeah. is about taking time to recognize and celebrate actively something that has happened Def definitely definitely and I, I mentioned before family and friends are one of my key, you know, those are things I focus on. So celebrating my milestone, I need friends and family around me to celebrate. Because I, it's about, it's a joyful time. It's a time for persons to come out and for me to spread joy and for them to, to feel that joy. Because, you know, yes, I am, um, I want them to feel joyful I'm doing things for them but I also want them when they sit there to say wow they are happy that they have made my life happy too y you know so it's not it's not one way and from here so the best way I thought of listen I have to celebrate in a real special way now you also said at the beginning Terry and that when you celebrate it don't focus on money because any people for all the different things they have to do, they don't have money, they don't have money, they don't have money, you know, they can't see themselves, they don't have friends. But listen, Terian, money don't have, I don't ever let money be in my way. So I say I am celebrating. And listen, I want to celebrate in a big way. All right. So I work it out. Of course, you look the type of celebration you want to have that is that would I feel have everybody comfortable and happy. So I plan, I'm planning, you know, I'm planning that a little while now. And I planned everything, people to come together. And when I look at the funds, then I say, you know what? And I share in this openly, I thought my friends would be happy if they have to contribute something instead of a gift, because it's just traditional and normal if you're invited to a birthday party to go buy a gift, you know? And just as they're doing weddings now and, and the bride might say, look, don't bother to bring our bride and groom, the couple will say, don't bother to bring a gift because we have everything contribute and that money, whether they go to charity or whatever is done. So I thought for friends, I say, look, if you want to buy a gift, feel free. If instead of a gift you want to contribute, it's not have a cost to it. It's not about the dollar sign. Whatever you could contribute. And that was done, Tarian, and I was very happy. So I'm able to say, okay, I'm still giving to charity. I plan to anyway. And it's still offset and offset some of the costs, which they're happy about. Mm -hmm. You know? So it worked out, Tarian, that. I am telling you, and you were there, it is, I felt fantastic, you know, to have my friends around, to hear, that's all the thing, Terian, for them to share what, what I did in their life, how I helped their life, and for me also to share what they have done for me in my life, you know? So that, that, that is celebration, that's really celebration. 
I think <clears throat> I think one of the one of the key points, if I could reflect on on what celebration does, is that it's it, it's the, the yes, there's the, the get together and the merriment and the party and and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And and I mean, hello, when I was younger and. and most of my party, you know, something called Dutch party, all right? Now they call it. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm telling you, remember those things. Yes, <laughs> that is okay. But I think the main takeaways from any celebration is that bringing people together, there is, a, you know, there, there are different spirits. And one yeah. of the key spirits, and I don't mean spirits in terms of alcohol, I talk about spirituality here, is having mm -hmm. a spirit of generosity and reciprocity those yeah. two when they come together are so powerful for celebrating life and i think in any milestone and in any event it doesn't matter if you're 70 if you get up this morning and you like your smile or some kind of thing like that uh -huh. you bring people together and i think it is a gift to give people an opportunity to say to you what you mean to them and to have you yeah. say back to them what you need. And in celebrations, you know, if you go to a wedding, there's the toast. And, you know, you say about the bride yeah. and you say about the groom. Even in a funeral, there is a eulogy <laughs> where you... Yeah. And anytime you get together because something is being celebrated, I think one of the biggest gifts you give to not only those who come to the celebration, but to give to yourself is that opportunity to say to you, this is what you want. Yeah. This is why you've made a difference to my life. And I don't care if all you have there is water to drink. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if all you have there is water from the government pipe, the government standpipe, and therefore it's free, or from the barrel that rainfall, and therefore it's free. The core of celebrating is that. and. I think yeah. the thing that makes a celebration pop, it is when that happens. And you have your, the yeah. people you care about telling you why you make a difference and why they're happy there in their life. And then you say it back to them. Mm -hmm. And I think that was so beautifully done. It was so beautifully yes. done this weekend. And I want to encourage our, our viewers to, to see that as a reason to celebrate. Yeah. Don't wait for no funeral. You wouldn't hear it, you're dead. <laughs> you know? You wouldn't hear it, you're dead. But I think our friends, our family, uh -huh. you know, it's like you're saying it with public witness. Yes, they'll tell you every day they love you. Yes. Yes, they will tell you whatever. But to come together and be able to stand in front of the community and say, Jennifer, you meant this to me. And for you to say yeah. whatever your name is, I think that is such a powerful and life-given force. And I think it's the essence of celebration. Don't you and know? one thing I want to add, Terian, and especially people feel it don't have to be big. You, you could celebrate with a small It's going to be three of you. So the don't think at all. That it has to be this Hello, big, if big you have 10 friends, bring them in the road and share water. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever is a matter of yeah. you're coming together. So I just want to make sure, you know, um, I felt I should have a big, not wasn't big, I wasn't that big, but I just wanted five to know it could be three, five, doesn't matter, you know? Persons and who love one. around you, and as Terry and say, you share how you feel about them and they share how they feel about you, and that. That is fantastic. That's a fantastic yeah. feeling. If you have 100, stand up in the road by the pipe, the standpipe, and drink water. Yeah. <laughs> and don't mind your business. Celebrate. Share your business and celebrate. Because and let me, let me see. <laughs> and that is healing, eh? Because the yes. next day I felt like if I partied so much, I was like in a daze yesterday. I sat down, I told Terry, and I said, I just... I just wanted to, you know, they say, bask in the glory, that kind of talk. I just sat there you know, and, and, it was was and up. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it was such a great feeling. 
And I'm sh I know for sure that was great for my health. That was great for my health. And that's a feeling. Anytime you, you look back at it, it's, it's a healing. It, it just makes you feel great. Yeah. yeah. And the word that comes is the affirmations. Once you affirm people yeah. and you uh -huh. affirm people and people get to affirm you, and that's yeah. why we celebrate at its core. We must celebrate. We must yes. have opportunities to receive affirmations and give affirmations to others. And yeah. if mm -hmm. we understand that that is what celebrating is about, then it doesn't matter where it happens, what is served, what you wear. Yes. You get life it put into you and you give life back to people. And that, I think, is the yeah. key. I'm celebrating, <laughs> affirming others. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are well affirmed and bubbly. And of course, we are going to do more affirmations come tomorrow and for the rest of the month, but we come into that. Just yeah. So Jennifer, mm -hmm. again, I want to say happy, 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 happy <laughs> birthday. I, I think you had a grand celebration. Yes. And all of your friends, I think everyone is still on a high for every aspect. Right. Of the day. Even I'm going in the market I want to buy books. <laughs> I want to thank all, all those, everyone who's, I mean, I got so many greetings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you all out there who sent me greetings. Yes. Yeah. I will just say, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer and I went as part of the, just as a simple thing, we went for a walk in the morning and then we went mm -hmm. in the market. We went in the market Beautiful. and buy yeah. and goat and spinach and J Jennifer bought fruits. <laughs> and I don't have to tell you when she cooked, she cooked all and I had a good time. You know, when I, when I decided to come out yesterday, it was the whole afternoon. Sunday, not good. yesterday, Sunday. Yes, <laughs> Sunday. yes I'm sorry, it's Sunday, yeah. <laughs> I had my curry good for three days, huh? so you keep quiet. <laughs> okay, so we're going on again. You're all in tune. <laughs>talked about celebration of the individual and uh, the importance of affirmations and when we come to our tribe our community it is so important that we look at how we manage life and arrange life as a celebration because very often events happen to people that we love things happen to people that we love in community and we immediately think catastrophe, oh gosh, bacchanal, and we do not see celebration or the, the, the need to use a celebratory approach to help in our communities. And I want to talk specifically now about yeah. a very, very important part of my tribe, which is my parents. And uh, I will, in a way, add to my siblings. Now, everyone knows that October 25th and 27th were traumatic period. Well, traumatic, yes, traumatic period to me and my family because both my mother and my father fell. It turned their life upside down. It spiraled. All kinds of things happened. They ended up in hospital. My mother had a broken pubic bone. My father lost the ability to walk. He can walk again. We had to get care. We had, nothing was the same. And very often we approach, the mindset with which we approach things like that is a preparation for end of life. And we are now in April, the second of April, and mm -hmm. it's been from December, January, February, March. Jeez, five months. <laughs> five yes, months already. that we have lived through. And I have to see that this has been a wonderful experience for me. No matter what people say. And I think it is because, Jennifer, I have, uh, the way I look at life and everything that happens to me in life is through celebration. And celebration meaning that nothing happens by chance. And when both parents' life tumble down, 
my other siblings all live abroad. I'm the only person here. I have my own life. Um, most people would look at this as, oh God, I have to stop. I can't work no more. I die, I die, I die. And I have to, oh, what is me? And, and I very rationally, and I, Dios, let me tell you why I'm taking these steps. Because I hope to show an example of how with the right mindset and with being yeah. positive and wanting good, not only for self, but also for those who you love, even the most distressing periods can become celebrations and you can survive. So one of the first things that I realized that we needed, because I literally had two bedridden parents, is the issue of care. I had no sister or brother to call upon, is the issue of care. And that started all the controversial decisions that had to be made, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And one decision that I know had to be made is that care had to be hired. Let it sink in. Care had to be hired. Because... I knew for myself that there is no way that I could personally attend to what they needed. And so I had to think about, okay, so if I had to hire care, is that I am detaching myself? And in a, in a previous show, I said, I became the treat. You hire people to care for and make sure the physical things are in place. And you let yourself be that joy, that light, that optimism, that leading point, reminding them always that there is a purpose. There is another way. This is just another stage of life. Karen, let me, let me just button here a bit. And that is what you said there, because I have friends who have not in similar in certain ways in terms of committed to take care of the elder parents. And you see finding, celebrating that aspect is not normal, let me put it that way. Yeah. They tend to feel that they, they're not, a, you're, you're approaching it, they're approaching it, yes, knowing that, okay, this is the parents you want to care for them. But with some guilt that, if they hire someone to do what society feels that they should do, that it will be a pressure. So they prefer put themselves under pressure to want to, 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 to as you say, do it all, whether to cut, cut down in terms of whether they have to leave the job, whatever they have to do, looking at it as a sacrifice, they're making a sacrifice too. And anytime the approaches like that, that you feel like you're sacrificing to take care of, then you can't celebrate. Yeah. Then your approach is completely different. You're not celebrating that person's life. You're not approaching it saying, well, okay, we are both celebrating. No. So if it's approached as a, as a sacrifice, it makes a difference. So I just want to, because I always say I admire you and will cheer you along in the way that you're, that in your approach to this situation. And I, I want to make one thing very, very clear about this. If I could physically take care of my parents, I would. If I could, I would. If I could physically stop my life so that I can dedicate myself to doing what is necessary for them, I would. I realized I could not. And therefore, just as in the affirmations that we talked about with your birthday, uh -huh. I realized to myself, if what I have to give up uh -huh. would make me angry and annoyed yeah. and become uh -huh. a complaining person, probably not complaining to them, but complaining to my friends about what I can't do or complaining about the what I've lost and what I've given up or explaining to my children and my husband and my household why this is falling apart while I go to another place. I know from my, what the way my parents live and I don't get into a fantasy about 
are they able to continue living as they lived before? No, they can't. They are now in a different stage of life. So I have yeah. to have a spirit of how they would live in this new stage and make sure that that's done. And I also know that they would not be happy if I made a sacrifice that made me unhappy or yeah. that I would be begrudging them at the end of the day because it makes no sense. And when we care for others in a celebratory way, I think there needs to be an honesty that you have to decide, all right, I'm approaching things in this way. This is what I can do and this is what I can't do. And you have to be really honest, sit with the people so that they understand. And I think Jennifer, as you said, again, guided always by that higher power, that higher being and spirit. I just said, listen, what kind of life did they lead? And that guided my choice of what kind of care they should have. Yeah. It had to be had. And again, we use my dear friend, Carol. And I am so pleased to see that, and I think this is another thing. I knew that my parents were always proud, independent, happy people who loved life and loved, they had a very high bar of how they looked, how they were taken care of, how their physical environment was. So even yeah. though they were essentially confined to a bedroom, there is no way that house could have been tumbled down. There is no way. So you yeah. have, to have people who were attentive to their home, who were attentive to their person, and geez and ages, how they were dressed. They couldn't be walking around looking like they, they put down in a corner. My father had to have matching tops and bottoms. <laughs> but that, that's what he used to. He he had to be pristine. So effort in terms of selecting the people who would care for them. As much as I looked for competence in geriatric care, I had to look for a certain personality. I had to look for someone who had a certain level of finesse and understanding. I had to look for people who would able to relate to them and communicate with them. And no, don't put my mother in a little shabby looking thing. She want her little shorts and she want her little top. <laughs> and my yeah. father, though he needed care for everything, had to respect his pride and his dignity. And you know, Jennifer, there was one controversial mm -hmm. thing. We realized that going along. Women run this through. A geriatric care yeah. is a female dominated thing. And there was a fundamental gap in my father's care. And, you know, you try to fill it, you choose this one, choose that one. And I remember sitting one day and saying, he needs a man. Yeah. He needs a man to take care of him. But I needed a man to live in, in a house with my old parents and another caregiver because it had to always be two people. And I'm going to talk about this because it made the biggest difference in how, in the outcome that we have today and in how my parents were able to feel and that I could join in celebrating them. A lot of people, yeah. when the point was raised, there's a man, you get all this here. You bring in a man in your parents' house. Yeah, a man coming to care. Um, a man. A, you know, we have to check ourselves and really find out if we stop ourselves from doing things that will be best for us and those we love because of issues we have in our head and in our mind. And once I knew just as how I chose the woman, I selected a man, a young man. Man is 23. Uh, you, know, you could imagine all the bells ringing. To come into the home and work with my father, living with the other person. We convert the TV room to a room for him because he had no other place. Yeah. Jennifer, you see that celebration that we are talking about? It started to happen. Because there is no way my father, who was full of life and 
just after talking and engaging, I mean, he was one of the top Guardian Life agents. If people know him, they, that he had someone to sit and talk to from a man's perspective. Yes. Pick him up and move it. We want to move 10 times a day. There is no way a woman could move that dead weight 10 times a day. It created yeah. friction that he could move, that he could bodily lift him, put him on the chair. After, from October to February, my father never left his bedroom. But in February, we had someone lift him up, put him on the chair, put him in the porch and take some sun. So what I, and, 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 and the, 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 the Robin, the care, I mean, all of the caregivers are fantastic people. I mean, they're really, really good. They do a fantastic job. But the point I want to make to us here is simply this. If we make decisions about how we are to live, understanding that life is a gift, it is a gift from God, it is a special and precious thing, and we were made to celebrate it. And a critical part of celebration is bringing out the best in the other, affirming the other, and, and helping mm -hmm. someone to achieve what they would want to do. And being selfless and doing that. And I don't mean selfless, put yourself on an altar and sacrifice yourself, but selfless meaning don't let your biases and blinders stop you from doing what you know they would want and what is best. I'm so happy now. My mom, she dresses in her nice cycle shorts and she sits on her porch and they're well <laughs> taken care of. And yes. you know, quote, my father is coming back. I mean, coming back in everything, his spirit is revived. And he, because that spirit is revived, he is working harder. He will not be where he was on October 26th. He won't yeah. do that. But he is not going to be where he was on October 28th. And it is because I took the decision to focus on what they needed what they wanted what was best for them and even though it was unconventional and not normal you do it and the results come and that is what i think celebratory living with your community is all about Ariane, that is such a powerful message for our people yeah not even if you don't have the situation now, this is to help you. You know, when that decision making is, is so critical. And as you speak, what we tend not to do on a same week, mm -hmm. all of us, is not, you don't, we tend not to ask the person what they want. <laughs> we feel that we know better. And because because we are the ones to do it, because we are the ones sacrificing, we're not giving them that opportunity. What to they see. want. And you feel they, you know, you might think, oh, God, they could say anything and we go back to it now because Terry and some people listening to you say, oh, Terry and Richie have money. The sisters, everybody are with us and in big set of US, they have money. Let, let, me, let, let me That's make a point. That's the first thing people will think. Let me yeah. make a point. To put this plan in place, I added up their pensions. Yes, We're talking yes. about people who are civil servants, all right? And yes. my father was a successful life insurance agent, and I'll say this now. He was not his own client, okay? Yes. <laughs> he was not his own client. So we are talking about NIS and a government pension and a little thing that can buy sweetie. I am going to say it. It's yes. buy sweetie. That pension is taking care of about... 80% of their expenses, including, including the three yeah. persons who are on shift, two women and a man. And yeah. what I have done to supplement the grocery bill is that I do groceries from my house. So yes, the grocery bill may have gone up a little bit and that's my sacrifice. That's my sacrifice. Yeah. And that is what Terry and I wanted to clarify. The because money what? is their money. They say their money. <laughs> and, and you have to look at 
and say not to focus on the money. The first thing really is what do they want? Yeah. You know, and, and yes, you will say, oh, they can't live the kind of life they used to live. We don't expect that. They don't they can't. expect that. They physically can't. Right? <laughs> because this is a different stage they are at. But it is important because when you look at them, um, you ask that question and you try to meet their needs as much as possible, you happy and they happy. You could really celebrate their life. And I know an instance where, um, again, I refer to just a friend taking care of and the mother decided she would button a bit as old as she is to say, well, I prefer if I have a help that will do X, Y, and Z because the, the, that person that you have helping me, I don't like how she did. And the reaction from her saying that was, well, that's the best I could do. You know, I will talk to her and see what do. But from the time you say that, what, guess what? The mood you put in that parent in is that you sort of like give up on life. Yes. After taking you understand? Life less. As yeah. against looking, and again, it's not the money. Eh? All you're doing is looking for someone, and you did it, Terry, that could meet their needs. needs. And when you needs. check it out, there's not more money. No. Nope. not <laughs> money. And it's their pension. <laughs> you, you know how he loved, he probably giving this young boy life lessons. He has a young boy to tell the story to about when he was. You can't do that to the woman around. It's a different feeling. And it's Jennifer, kind of like he has a son in front of him now, to, 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 like a grandson to say, yes. Jennifer, and I'm telling you, Terry, and that young boy would learn so much. Not talking about the care. That's the one stories, thing. the stories. The Stories because you don't even know that when they did background, whatever I'm telling you, he would learn so much from those stories. And he too would be excited about taking care of him because all he wants is to make sure he got it comfortable and we could sit on an old too. And Jennifer, let me tell you something. It makes a big difference. And we don't think like that, Terry. We talk about the unemployment situation. We talk about youths and we talk about all kinds of stuff. Yes. And let me tell you something. This, there are many young men who come from dumb yes. roofs. Listen, when you see he cook on the weekend, when you see he cook, my mother had a birthday spread. Yes. He did all of the cooking. When he pick up yes. a and he starts cleaning that room, cleaning it. I mean, I am talking about he is part of the living care team. He's not there to sit down and watch his father. He, yeah. he cleaning windows, he doing this and he doing, and also focusing on my father. So we sometimes have these biases. You know, man, that is it. He need a man to take care of him and we need And not just that, him. the trust. They tend not to trust. Again, the biases. The, the, the discrimination, all of these things. We have to let go. And you know, when we think of the need of the person and really, you won't have that. So some people prefer, you're not bringing in the person who you feel, um, who your, your, your parent uh, or the elderly one, because they feel, oh, I, I remember once <laughs> somebody mentioned again with the help coming in. Oh, she dressing too fancy. She don't need this kind of work. If she's looking so fancy, she can't clean. Could you imagine that? You, the person dressing the way they like to dress, coming to work, have this skill. But the complaint is they only need the fancy enough so they can't work. So they, they, they may sound simple, but it's such a serious thing. So I agree with you. We have, you see that mindset, the yeah. approach, how we do many things yeah. and remove yeah. any biases, it, it, mm -hmm. it makes that difference. Yeah. So yeah. I'm so happy you could share that because yeah. again, the first thing you have to be terrain, you have to be mad to bring a young boy. Young boys these days, yeah. I'm sure he might be dressing this. I'm sure he can't speak properly. I'm sure he can show up so many things. I like want to give you father. I want to give a big shout out to Donna, James, and Tasha. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> The best self-care home care team. And, and I mean, it is, it is, it is, I cannot tell you how, well, Jennifer, you know, that it allows me yeah. to continue living 
my of night. Course. It allows me to have much better interactions and visits with my parents. One of the things I this want to important. really bring out in this, this segment of celebrating life on the third act stage. The third act stage is not the second act stage. And I, yes, my parents are in their 80s. So I'm making, I, as a, as a second act, second to that stage person, I'm making yeah. sure that I have room to also celebrate my being on the third act stage, but I'm not sacrificing my parents' happiness. And I have to reach out yeah. to my community. I have to reach out to the tribe to make mm -hmm. sure that I put things in place. And what I have to do in choosing those resources is to think of them and what they yeah. need. What they want. And uh -huh. Jennifer, if somebody come in front of me looking shabby, shabby, and don't care about my themselves and they're looking to play, and I know they can't take care of my parents and their home. So I, they, you, I'm in. glad you brought up that. Because if you look at shabby, you, you can't start. <laughs> Darian, you know how I feel about home clothes, right? I, I have a thing about that. And as you said, I remember my dad who wants to be just like him. You have to be clean, the room has to be clean, you have to look good, you have to come in, thing you say, you have to be smelling good. And when he needed care, let me tell you, we had to choose somebody. We made sure that that room always clean. When the bed be clean and the person who coming in with her case down God had to use her uniform. So it was, there had no problem with that, mm -hmm. you know? So that makes a difference. He yes. felt good. Yes. He felt really good. When we become on visit, he said, look at my children have everything nice. It makes a difference in your mindset. I, we I, feeling good about that, that we making him happy and he's happy. He's ill, you know he's ill, but that's because the earlier have to feel it, you are, you know? And you remember want that the point is, to celebrate point is, your life. Yeah. yeah, and more important, it is both of us have to be happy. I can't be that's it. happy and I, I'm grinding with you. <laughs> You and every time you're talking to a friend, you're complaining. You know, you're complaining. You don't know what to do. You can't go sense. out. You can't just that makes no yeah. sense. We both have, and mm -hmm. I can't be happy living up a life and I know my parents not getting the care that they need. Then I cannot be happy. Yes. I will be full of guilt. So it has. And, and one other thing, Terry, and I want to add, if you have that plan and you set it out, yes, you may not be able to do everything, but you could set how you could do it. As you said, you yeah. bring in somebody even if that person coming in part-time, but to sit down and we'll talk. I, you know, I am so happy you said that with your father. I could just see him in his glory, telling that young boy, listen, in my days, and he should do, giving him all the life lessons that a man listen, and he have plenty to tell. What more you want? Jennifer, you know? hold on. When he starts talking, forgetting in any wheelchair or anything. That's now, <laughs> Jennifer, daddy have his joy, but could you imagine? When James, tall and strapping young man with a beard, comes with a, a tray with Mrs. Joseph's dinner to give me Mrs. to Joseph's say dinner. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> that is life. That is life. A smiling. Oh. Yeah. So let me tell you, I just want us to realize that when we start thinking about how do we care for ourselves as sandwich yes. people, cheese in the middle, you cannot have stale bread on the outside. You can't have stale bread. One stale bread is, is your children that you're taking care of. The other stale bread is your parents and you are happy fancy cheese. The cheese will get contaminated. You have to have good cheese, fresh bread and fresh bread. <laughs> You have to take care of all. So I want us to think about what is our expectation or what we want to give to others and make sure that if you have people that you care for, you're celebrating life from the womb to the tomb. Do not at any point yes. in time stop celebrating life, no matter who you have to care for. And I think that is the most important thing. So Yes, it is. It is. So people, we celebrate with in tune with Jennifer and we celebrate and try with us and we coming back just now because it's a real celebration now. <laughs> Jennifer, I think the celebration yes. we're talking about before is nothing compared to what this <laughs> 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 
not at all, Terrence. So this is it, you know. We and we need a happy third birthday to you, Jennifer. <laughs> Yes, thank you, connections. Yes, yes, yeah. I tell you, April is my month. <laughs> yeah, um, this is really celebration, Tarian. And you know, we started, you all know, we have the lineup for you all. First Easter Monday coming up. <laughs> I have been getting calls, Tarian, also. You know, anybody asking about it, they're all excited. But guess what? As of this week, you need to start yeah. going on that link, clicking the link. This is it, you know. So we know we're starting with Easter Monday, all right? Yeah. We have that nice line, that games evening where we're doing all the things. And good when, when we set up for the karaoke, I get all excited about that. And the different the games, table and oh. And I, we and have forget, when you walk the, in, the soul train dance dance tunnel. Huh? Yes, the soul a train lot. dance tunnel. So you have to a lot of fun for that Easter Monday and, and do the surprise. Bump. Do the bump. Do the bump. When when you when you book when you click that link and you register, we going to send you the the address. The fun yes. day is an opportunity for you to celebrate. Just having fun and being free and coming out, out of two years of confinement. Oh, yes. It's not a birthday. Yeah. It's not a what. It is celebrating your life and allowing you time to, you know, a good belly laugh, a good belly laugh. We yeah. are going to have a trip. I mean, there's going to be bingo. There's going to be karaoke. We have these uh -huh. up and dancers. We're going to have board games. We're going to have charades. We are going yes. to have a ton of fun. And we're gonna have delicious food. It's a non-alcoholic bar being provided, but you are free to bring your spirits along. And that will be 150 for our Easter Monday fun day to kick everything. And yes, tell your friends, tell your friends, bring your friends because it is a big celebration. Yeah. Absolutely. I am looking forward to, to just relaxing. And just, just exhaling, exhaling, and really having an and I don't spirit of connection, so to be plus, you know. Yes. <laughs> so Jennifer, after we have fun on the eighteenth Easter Monday afternoon, Monday. Uh -huh. we're going to get now a little fancy. We're going to get fancy. I'm going to have <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're going to get fancy. <laughs> yes, and that's a dinner, and we have the venue. Huh? To be at the now Radisson. we have the venue at the Radisson. Yeah, fancy. It's, it's fancy. <laughs> you know, you got an opportunity again coming out of the pandemic to dress up and come out, bring a friend, you know, and enjoy it. Lovely, you need the dinner, and not just dinner. We just having dinner. We having a nice conversation too with Dr. Rouse. Oh, Listen remember to me. our show with Jennifer yes. Rouse? We're gonna yes. talk about really living on the third act. <laughs> and that's that's on Saturday. That's Saturday the twenty third. Yes. yes, of April. Huh? Remember yes. April? We celebrated. The fun day is. <laughs> we have to yeah. The fun day is anything. It just come out on our Easter Monday. You know, the only thing you don't have to do is pack a basket. You just come out and, and, and bring your friends. But yes, yeah, so we have that for you to dress up, get that opportunity to dress up with a friend and come out to dinner for only $300 Give me a brief. Yes. That is nothing. $300, yeah. a beautiful dinner, an afternoon with Jennifer and myself and Dr. Rowe. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be in the Calypso Lounge of the yes. Radisson. Radisson. So yes. really, listen, we coming out. That's all the cobweb. Come on. I know those excess, those muscles of going out and socializing have not been exercised. Okay. And the young yes. have been all kind of fat and boat, right? We nothing that. We coming out to our <laughs> own kind of fun. Yes. So, that's on the 23rd again. A beautiful dinner, a sumptuous buffet. It is mouth watering, and connections is having. Uh, 
a good, good time, you know? So after that, now we 60 plus people, 50 plus people, we know we like fun and games and then we like fun. So mm -hmm. the next thing we like, if not out it. <laughs> yes. Go on this road trip, you know? Yeah. And that is paramen. And we told you all paramen. We show you the clips and listen. I know many people say, oh, gosh, you know how long I wanted to go paramen? Now is your chance. There is a game limited capacity to make sure yeah. that we have our catering right. And listen, this is not going to be paramen, drive a paramen and go to La Virgie, watch the out and, and, and sit down and be no. bored and then come back down. We are having a very immersive event experience planned yeah. for us because we, uh, Carlos is coordinating, and if you all know Paramount, tour guides and so on, Carlos is coordinating uh -huh. this for us. He is working with some of the, the Paramount has created an a, a ecotourism system for the villagers. Yeah. So there are going to be about four or five stops to different points of interest in Paramount. We're going to be visiting the caves. We're going to be, and everything we know is 50 plus we're dealing with, so don't worry. Just put on comfortable walking shoes, not plenty walking to go. We're going in the side field, so don't wear the dainty sandal with the diamond tail and thing, all right? Yeah. <laughs> you can wear it in the maxi, but have a sneaker to go walking in the side field. Have a hat, we're going to be outdoors because it's a morning trip and a little sunblock on your shoes. <laughs> And if you need a little stick to go chatting around, bring your stick with you, okay? But we're going to be visiting the case. We're going to be visiting a beautiful yeah. garden, the side fields. We're going to uh -huh. be looking at some of their natural forms passing by the river. And most importantly, we're going to be paying visits to some of the micro entrepreneurs who are going to be catering our meals and our snacks. Yes. So we are getting a real paramin lunch you know and we stopping by another lady who will do pot bake mm. <laughs> <laughs> delicacy memory of that pot bake listen to me <laughs> we also finish have any lunch at all <laughs> lunch and the lunch was <laughs> by the fireside oh the oh listen. so they are planning for us and they also as he said, there are beautiful winemakers who use the local food, and there are beautiful people who make indigenous sweets, the chalum and the tamarind bowl, and the, you really use the, the, the local crafts. And they are prepared for us to sample their stuff. And of course, we not only sampling, we also buying and helping them. Because I remember when we went last time, that tulum, mm, they gave us a little tulum, so but mm, mm, mm. I had to go back for more to them. <laughs> yes. So our day in Paramin is going to be fun, fun, fun. And just check the date again. It's Thursday, not Friday. Thursday. 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 Yes. Yeah, we are gathering at the Villera. When you pay, you get the instructions for gathering at the yes. meeting point and everything. But it's Thursday, the 5th. And let me tell you, one Maxi full already. This is serious. It's no seriously. And this is no gimmick. This is seriously. And so if you're interested, you need to. Yeah. You book. have the links. And that is, yeah. We would know when you book. Yeah. You pay and you book, we say, well, yes, your seat show. And Paramount is 250. And remember, yeah. so we have 150 for Fundy. We have 300 for dinner and we have 250 for paramen. And we know it is a stretch to do all of them, right? So if you want to do all, you have a special package. So- Of $600 alone. Yes. So you save $100 off of the whole. So- Yes. Remember? Sunday's 150 and everything is all inclusive. Remember that. All inclusive, not oh, yes. alcohol. Not alcohol. So even at the dinner, if you wish to patronize the bar at Radisson, you could, because we know that alcohol takes the price. Woo! And we want to make sure it's affordable for most of us. 
So it's 150 for the fun day, 200 yes. for caramel, and 300 for a soiree, which is all 700. But if you're doing all of them, there is a special link, our package link, which is $600. Yes. And that gets you all of the items. Okay? So yes. the celebration has already started. <laughs> We look forward to you joining us. So, okay, so just click the link and you're on board. The celebration has already started. Remember that? <laughs> it started with Jen's birthday. <laughs> yep, it started. <laughs> so, listen, perfect. We on time. This is what it is. April is the month of celebration, celebrating life. It's our anniversary, Jennifer's birthday, Zuri's birthday. There's all kinds of things happening. So <laughs> we look forward to you joining us. So, okay, so just click the link and you're on board. So until next week, when we continue talking more about celebrating life, remember everything we said. So, bye. <laughs> 50 plus tribe and follow us from Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. Thank you for joining us on this Connections 50 plus 5.8 G Alive show. We hope you enjoy the lively conversation <laughs> and look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really love getting your feedback. Bye, Bye for now. now.